morning, little muffins. How are you doing today? So I have sad news. We could not buy me any peach vibes while we were at the store. So I'm gonna try a new drink. This is Alani, which is brew, and um, I'm a witch, so I was like, I need to try this. I have no idea what the flavor is supposed to be. Mm. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Mmm, okay. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. That tastes like candy. That tastes like candy. Oh! It candy apples. It tastes like a caramel apple. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Yo. How does he get an entire caramel apple in this tiny little drink? So anyways, today is Friday. So I do things a little bit differently on Friday. Uh, this is actually the day when I focus on practicing martial arts. We're gonna do some Taekwondo and then we're gonna do my Pilates. And that's gonna be my workout for the day. It's supposedly supposed to be storming today. I hope it does. Other than that, I'm challenging myself today to see how much protein I can eat. My goal is to have 100 grams of protein per day. My boyfriend says that statistics Statistically. Statistically. Theoretically. With my body type, I should be getting at least 160 grams of protein per day. However, I'm struggling just to get 100 grams of protein a day. Like, that is a lot of food. Most of the time, I eat two meals a day. 100 grams is struggle enough. If I can make it there, then I, w I can proceed to 160. However, today, 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 I am going to reach 100 grams of protein and I'm going to walk you through me. I literally was about to say I'm gonna walk you through me. I'm no, I need to go back to bed. Before I finish this, let's get started. Okay, listen up. If you want to learn martial arts or if you just want to learn how to punch somebody, kick somebody, defend yourself, in case you know anything were to happen to you, and you're on a budget, this YouTube channel right here, where's the channel? Global Martial Arts University. They have like full length lessons uh, just there. I think they even have like a website. They have like links on here. So if you want to pay for extensive classes or whatnot, whatever they, whatever they provide, you can go do that. So this is my guy right here. This is my Taekwondo guy. His name is Adam. He's pretty cool. Let's get started. Same thing as before. Try not to pause the class. I want you to work all the way through. If I'm going a little bit too fast, So I actually did this video last week and I was gonna make it a goal, but if I stopped the class, I was gonna do the other half a later that day. I was gonna try to get a whole class in in one day because I'm really bad at that. Adam just called me. <laughs> Adam just freaking called me out. I literally turned it on where I slept off literally a seconds after he's saying, if you get tired, don't stop the video. <laughs> I was depressed, what can I say? Don't sneeze on my new yoga mat. You're gonna get so hurt. 
martial arts. This is something that I learned very early on. This is one of the reasons why I started doing Pilates. At the end of each lesson, you do a conditioning. When I first started this, I had no flexibility in me whatsoever. Like these hamstrings, they weren't doing it. Okay, this is why I started stretching every single day. But here's the other thing. To get a really high kick, which I cannot do, I still gotta stretch these muscles here. But also, in part of his conditioning, he was doing these, he was doing these exercises, okay? And the purpose is to strengthen the muscles on the outside of your leg. So, when I found Pilates and I found those booty exercises that I love so much, she was also doing similar exercises that were very well working these muscles. And so I started doing that. So tip, if you wanna do martial arts and you wanna get those high kicks, start doing Pilates. That's all I'm saying. And stretches, don't skip out on your stretches. It is so important, so important. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Pilates and my stretches and finish up. Okay, I am done with my stretches and it's time to get my first dose of protein in me. So I'm gonna start the day off with my protein shake. This has a whole 30 grams of protein in it, which is why I love starting my day off with this because right off the bat, you just get like, oh, heck of a lot of protein. <laughs> so starting off strong and then for um, my pre-breakfast, I guess you could say, I'm gonna have my kiwi. lunchtime now and I'm going to have some apples with peanut butter. The peanut butter will add eight grams of protein and then I'm gonna finish off with some yogurt with 15 grams of protein. I'm gonna have a little counter somewhere around here. Ugh. Oh no, my neighbor doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Don't you just hate it when the weather says it's gonna storm and then it just doesn't. Like, <sighs> blue skies, blue, What? where's the storm? <sighs> okay, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. All right, so it is almost three o'clock. And I'm hungry. So, it's time for our next meal. 
So I am a very simple gal. So I am just gonna be making a ham sandwich. It's kind of like a like a knockoff sub. These buns have like seven grams of protein in them. And then we're gonna use some ham, and this has 10 grams of protein. All together, that makes a nice big 17 grams of protein. Open! By the way, um, ever since I've started weight training, my thumb has been hurting. Like, I don't even know what's wrong with it, but all I know is that it hurts. I am a animal rights activist, and so I typically try to not eat meat whenever I can. Meat is murder. Um, so this is gonna be like, this is the minimum of meat that I'm going to be eating. I am now feeling snackish. So I think it's time for me to eat my protein bar. These bars, not sponsored, but these are so freaking good. They have 20 grams of protein. This is the this is the peanut butter one. It is just covered in chocolate. And seriously, guys, stop scratching. Thank you. The challenge for me is um, I can never finish a whole one of these in one sitting. I always like cut it in half and then save the other one for later. So my challenge for today is to eventually, like either eat the whole bar now or eventually eat the other half later. So we'll see what happens. By the way, little sky here. <laughs> oh. If you guys have seen my last few vlogs, you'll know that Sky has been having a little skin issue. <laughs> she has environment. She has environmental allergies, uh, which means that uh, this cold weather is just irritating her skin and making her really itchy. And um, she took her medicine. She finished all of that around Christmas time. However, that was also while I was sick and immobile, <laughs> so um, I could not finish her bath. So I'm still tr I'm still treating her with the baths every week. But her skin is unfortunately still irritated. Like, she's a lot better, but now it's just all coming back. But n definitely not as serious currently. Except she has this little spot on her head that she keeps scratching at and it's bleeding. So I'm trying to not get that infected like her neck did. I love you. A few minutes later. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> so here's the thing about me. <clears throat> this is why... <clears throat> this is why doing this challenge is so hard for me, especially when, like, in my head I'm telling myself I have to get, like, this so, like, this amount of protein every day, like... This is why I'm saying that it's just too much. This is too much for me. Because I'm chronically nauseous. Like, I'm nauseous every day, all the time. And I'm not really too sure exactly why or what triggers it. <clears throat> um, it's just like, like, if I breathe in a certain way, especially when, when I'm engaging in physical activity uh that will trigger my nausea or i will um <clears throat> or when i eat too much of a certain food that with a certain texture or taste that i particularly don't really it, i don't really enjoy it but i eat it just because it's good for me if it's a food like that and i eat too much of it or even even just one bite sometimes like that will trigger nausea so that being said i just puked um i just puked out everything i ate today i 
I ate 90 grams of protein. Whether or not all of that amount of protein actually got into my body is the question. So, um, yeah. I should not aspire to reach a certain goal every day. That is out of the question. <laughs> Help me. Okay, guys. Well, that is basically it for today's video. Uh, I ended up just having hamburger helper for dinner. So it was only like three grams of protein. And then finished my day off with some delicious ice cream. That was very well deserved. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And also be sure to subscribe and support my channel. Um, oops. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay real.